Hello, Karen here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And I hope that you learn a few things in today's video. We're going to be doing some more listening practice today. We're going to be listening to a woman and she's talking about lifestyles, the way that people choose to live their life. So you can choose to live a healthy lifestyle or maybe an outdoor lifestyle where you spend a lot of your time outdoors. She's actually talking about one particular woman and she also mentions a man's name today, Brett. I think she speaks quite clearly today, but I'll still play the file for you four times as per usual, twice at the normal speed and then another two times at a slightly slower speed. And today I'd like you to try and write down what you hear. And then after you listen to her, we can talk about a few things that she says today. Okay, let's go. Her lifestyle is going to be very different from the norm. I think she's definitely going to need someone like Brett who seems very understanding and caring and accepting of all kinds of different lifestyles. I mean, being on the road, that would definitely take its toll on yourself and a relationship. So I think she's definitely going to need someone with a lot of understanding. Her lifestyle is going to be very different from the norm. I think she's definitely going to need someone like Brett who seems very understanding and caring and accepting of all kinds of different lifestyles. I mean, being on the road, that would definitely take its toll on yourself and a relationship. So I think she's definitely going to need someone with a lot of understanding. Her lifestyle is going to be very different from the norm. I think she's definitely going to need someone like Brett who seems very understanding and caring and accepting of all kinds of different lifestyles. I mean, being on the road, that would definitely take its toll on yourself and a relationship. So I think she's definitely going to need someone with a lot of understanding. Her lifestyle is going to be very different from the norm. I think she's definitely going to need someone like Brett who seems very understanding and caring and accepting of all kinds of different lifestyles. I mean, being on the road, that would definitely take its toll on yourself and a relationship. So I think she's definitely going to need someone with a lot of understanding. Her lifestyle is going to be very different from the norm. I think she's definitely going to need someone like Brett, who seems very understanding and caring and accepting of all kinds of different lifestyles. I mean, being on the road, that would definitely take its toll on yourself and a relationship. So I think she's definitely going to need someone with a lot of understanding. Now let's study some of the things that she said. Her first sentence was, her lifestyle is going to be very different from the norm. Her lifestyle is going to be very different from the norm. Norm. We usually say the norm, which means the usual way that we do things. You can think of it as norm being the first part of normal which basically means the same thing. But when we use the norm, we're not talking about what's usual or typical just for you. It has to be for a large group of people, like people who play football or people in your country. Is it usual for people in your country to do this? At the moment, working from home seems like it's starting to become the norm. A lot more people are working from home these days, much more than before. So working from home is starting to become the normal thing to do in a lot of companies these days. It's starting to become the norm. Kids going to school every day is the norm. We expect kids to go to school every day. Well, Monday to Friday in Australia. Here, she said her lifestyle is going to be very different from the norm. 
So her lifestyle, the way that she lives her life, is going to be very different from how people generally live their lives. Her lifestyle is going to be very different from the norm. Her next sentence was, I think she's definitely going to need someone like Brett, who seems very understanding and caring and accepting of all kinds of different lifestyles. I think she's definitely going to need someone like Brett who seems very understanding and caring and accepting of all kinds of different lifestyles. Understanding, caring and accepting. These are all good positive words to describe someone. And because we're describing someone, these are all adjectives. And the corresponding verbs are to understand, to care and to accept. And to accept here means to agree with something. You think it's okay. So if you're accepting of something, you are okay with that thing. And we're usually talking about something that other people are not always okay with. So an accepting person is okay with different lifestyles. You may believe in one religion, but you're also accepting of other religions. You think it's okay for other religions to exist and for people to believe in these other religions. Here, she thinks that the woman's partner needs to be understanding, caring and accepting because her lifestyle is going to be very different to how people usually live their lives. I think she's definitely going to need someone like Brett who seems very understanding and caring and accepting of all kinds of different lifestyles. And the first part of her next sentence was, I mean, being on the road, that would definitely take its toll on yourself and a relationship. I mean, being on the road, that would definitely take its toll on yourself and a relationship. On the road. This idiom actually has a few different meanings, but they all have something to do with cars or buses or trucks and roads. Here, it means to be in a car or bus or truck traveling for a long time. There are a few jobs where you have to be on the road for long periods of time. Truck drivers, for example, or truckies, as we would say in Australia. Australia is a very large country, so truck drivers have to drive for long periods of time. People in sales also have to be on the road quite a lot. Can you think of any other jobs where you have to be on the road for a few months each year? I mean, being on the road, that would definitely take its toll on yourself and a relationship. To take its toll or take a toll or take a heavy toll on something or someone. Firstly, toll rhymes with bowl. It's not toll. It doesn't rhyme with doll. And one meaning of the word toll is the small amount of money that you sometimes have to pay when you cross a bridge or a road. So you can think of it as something taking its toll on you as something that's slowly taking small amounts of something from you. For example, your energy. For example, a very stressful job can eventually take its toll on you if you're not careful. It will slowly take something from you. Your energy, your physical health, your mental health. It will slowly have a bad effect on you. Here, she's saying that being on the road, being away from your family for days or even weeks or months at a time, being on the road would definitely take its toll. So it would slowly affect you in a bad way or it would affect your relationship with your partner in a bad way. So in today's listening practice, she's talking about a woman whose lifestyle is going to be very different because she'll be traveling a lot of the time, probably for her work. 
So she thinks that this woman, if she wants a partner, she thinks that her partner needs to be very understanding, who accepts all different kinds of lifestyles. We learnt a few idioms and some more challenging words today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to press the subscribe button and also the bell if you'd like to know when I have a new video out for you. Let's listen to her one more time at the normal speed. Her lifestyle is going to be very different from the norm. I think she's definitely going to need someone like Brett who seems very understanding and caring and accepting of all kinds of different lifestyles. I mean, being on the road, that would definitely take its toll on yourself and a relationship. So I think she's definitely going to need someone with a lot of understanding. Thank you for watching today. Keep practicing, stay safe out there, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.